A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hello friends, welcome back to another studio vlog. So I have not vlogged the past few days and I feel like it's because I started school in person again. I started university and that has caused everything else in my life to become extremely disorganized because I'm having to adjust to a new schedule. So I've just been trying to figure out, you know, the best way to do other things. But yeah, so I've just been figuring life out right now, trying to balance everything. But I just want to start filming, even if it is disorganized, it just makes it a little bit harder for me because uh, it's another thing that I have to remember. But so far, I have some plaques painted. I got a bunch, a bunch of plaques, including little baby ones. But I have them all painted, like the background, and I have two sketched out, but I'm gonna sketch out what I'm gonna draw on all of them, and then I'm gonna paint them. Hopefully, I will do that today. Um, yesterday, I spent most of the day drawing sticker designs and I've been going very quickly, very happy about that. So I'm also gonna get some product design done because I very much need to. So normally laundry would be done on Sundays but because I went on a mini trip last weekend, last Sunday's cleaning day did not happen. So I'm having to catch up on laundry. It's actually been like a month since I've done laundry. So I really needed to do it. Uh, I wanted to show you guys my order from Heidi Roo. She came out with a bolo tie in collaboration with Tiny Deer Studio. Um, and I've been really wanting a bolo tie, so she left a little note for me in Salem. But let's open it up because I'm very excited. Oh, she added stickers. So cute. Okay. So let me open up the box. Salem, you're always so nosy. So cute. It's a little froggy and the uh, tie is pink. Salem is a very nosy boy. It's so pretty. I love it. Salem. Oh, it's so cute. I love it.
Okay, I look crazy right now because it's time to redo the roots of my bangs. Very grown out. Um, so yeah, I've done a pretty poor job of sectioning off the parts that need to be bleached. Um, yeah, I'm pretty bad at that part, but let's mix up the bleach to dye my roots. Roots are refreshed now. I feel so good. Nobody was telling me that I was looking crusty, but that's why I was feeling crusty because my roots were so grown out. So roots are refreshed, very happy. Um, and we are back for another work day. So yesterday I finished up this painting, which I very much love. Posted it on Instagram. Um, I think a couple vlogs back I did another version of this, which I had stated that I didn't end up liking, but like now I knew what I wanted to do and not wanted to do in the painting. So here's the new and improved one. I think it's so cute. And now it's time to do a bunch of product design and not just product design, but hopefully also get a few plaques at least painted. Um, I have two sketched out, so I'll probably at least paint those two but uh, time to go back to drawing stickers and sticker sheets and stuff. That was the sound of Salem and Clementine chasing each other.
Okay, so I'm gonna take some orders to the post office. This bag is so cute, it's from Ikea. It's like a bunch of kitties. And then I have a little surprise in the mail room, well surprise for me, which I will bring back and work on. <laughs> also this skirt is like the cutest thing ever. I feel like it's very me. Okay, I'll be back. So this is a locker I ordered from Mustard Made because I've been needing some sort of like table storage thing to have in my living room right here on this wall so that I can get rid of these two boxes. Um, and Mustard Made has really cute lockers. So this is my locker. It's extremely heavy. I had to get a man to help me get it up the stairs. Feminism leaves my body when it comes to carrying heavy things. So now here it is, and I have the one that was Salem trying to get inside the box. Anyways, now I have no idea how to break through this cardboard protection, but oops. Okay, so locker has been finished, set up. I haven't put stuff in there. I've, I had lunch and I just started working again. I'll probably organize the stuff in there tonight, but my to-do list for today, I have schoolwork to do and I wanna get a little bit more work in. I did finish both of these plaques that I was working on and now it is time to see how the gloss reacts on top because because they're like such cheap wood there is like rough edges so i just want to put like a layer of gloss on each one so let's see how that reacts with the wood
friends uh it's been a couple days since i have checked in and updated you guys but uh it is tuesday september 7th uh i had class today so i went sat in my lecture and i had to run a few errands and then i came home and i made myself food and finally it is about 3 p.m and i can start working today I do have to pack orders first because I wasn't able to yesterday because I had run out of mailers, but mailers are here. We're good to go. I need to pack just a few orders. Probably gonna be doing a lot of digital drawing this week, honestly, because I'm trying to get the freaking products that I need to get manufactured sent out so that that way I can just focus on the stuff that I can make here. But uh, yeah, gonna try to finish stickers and washi tape today, today to send it to the manufacturer today. Hello. So I went to the mailroom and I got a few packages and in my packages, I got the custom pencils that I ordered. And here comes Salem, thinking that everything is food all the time. But I ordered some custom pencils. They are black. And they say, let's cast some spells. Will it ever focus? I'm not sure. Oh, oh, oh. Let's cast some spells. Super cute. I have 200 of them, because that's their minimum. Um, but they're probably gonna be like a dollar, a dollar fifty. So that's fun. Very exciting package. Hello friends, so I went to Target and they started putting out their Halloween stuff and they had this little Halloween colored garland so I'm gonna put it up above this door just because I feel like that's where it's gonna look best or I might... no I feel like above this door would be cute um, because I need, really need to take a break I didn't realize I was drawing for like two and a half hours and I haven't done that in a while and I feel very dizzy from looking down. Um, so I'm taking a break by putting up this tiny Halloween decoration.
Hello, my friends. Uh, I think today will be the last day that I check in for this vlog, but uh, septum is looking pretty good. I feel like I didn't talk about it at all, actually, in this vlog. I've been giving updates on my story, but I guess I will sit down and tell you guys just like a little bit about it um, in case you were curious about septum piercings or you wanted to get one, but you're kind of hesitant or scared. I am here to soothe your worries. So I got my septum done at 713. If you live in Houston, you probably know where that is. It's in downtown on Montrose. But that is where I got mine done because I went to the Association of Professional Piercers website and found the nearest piercer. And I think they're the only piercing shop that is certified by them. So I went to them for that reason. Pain level was a three to four out of 10. It really was not bad. Um, I, at this point, I've taken out my cartilage piercings that I got on my ear, but these were much more painful, especially afterwards. Um, but needle going through was about three to four out of 10. I have a high pain tolerance, I will say that. Um, for me, the most uncomfortable part was waiting for him to screw in the little ball uh, because it's so tiny and he did let me know um, you know, it might take a little while and it's going to be uncomfortable, uh, but he really had to get it in there tight. I think that was the most uncomfortable part for me because I didn't know what was going on or, or when it would be over. But it's really not that bad at all. Um, I am prone to like lightheadedness and I wouldn't say fainting. I used to faint a lot more as a teen and I blame that on like puberty and stuff. But I am prone to like really quick drops of blood pressure and stuff. And I did get like slightly lightheaded, but I feel like that was probably the anxiety because I don't know why, but getting my septum piercing was giving me a lot of anxiety. But uh, essentially septum piercings go through a little piece of skin. They don't actually go through the cartilage, so that's why it doesn't hurt as bad. And that's why it heals so quickly. Um, I'm about on day four five of having my septum piercing i got it done last saturday it's thursday today and pain is virtually gone if i wiggle it around a lot back and forth it will start to get irritated and hurt but uh before like the first three days it would hurt for me to like make expressions so like move my nose a lot would hurt really bad um, well, not, not really bad, but it would hurt. Um, smiling would hurt and stuff like that. Just exactly like where the wound is. And um, the crusties stabbing it would hurt and stuff. But pain is pretty much gone. I can touch my nose now. And it's just extremely light soreness. It just kind of feels like a tiny bruise. Um, whereas my cartilage piercings never stopped hurting. I mean, eventually I took them out because I was like, I'm sick of this. They literally never stopped hurting and they hurt much more than the septum. Uh, I've just been cleaning it once a day with saline solution, just once at night because he really emphasized not over cleaning to not dry it out. So once a day cleaning with saline solution and in the morning when I wash my face, I just kind of like dip my nose in warm water to kind of wash away the crusties by it and like refresh it and stuff and that's been working well for me so that is septum update Before I end today's vlog, I just really quickly wanted to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you don't know what Squarespace is, it's an all-in-one platform where you can create your very own website. It's the website and platform that I have always used to run my website and my online business. That being said, they have some really great tools that I use myself for my online business. So the commerce tool 
helps you keep track of orders and inventory and all of that. The design interface helps me customize my website to however I want. And the website analytics help me know how my website is performing. So if you are interested in starting a free trial, you can go to squarespace.com and use my code for 10% off your first purchase.